We're at the first point ever in our history where most likely more is not the answer. <laughs> I wanted to be a pilot at the beginning. That was like my first recollection of what I wanted to be. It's one word, it's just why. I think it's a, a tool that kind of allows you to deal with anything. I wouldn't say, you know, start a business earlier, study harder or work harder or any of those kinds of bits of advice that I give myself, but more to invest more in relationships. I guess thinking that there are lots of shortcuts and, you know, so visualizing where you want to be and you think you can just by doing that, you get there and you sort of shortcutted all of the learning, all of the hard work, all of the ups and downs. And you probably lost all of the enjoyment because the enjoyment is in the path that you take, is in those ups and in those downs. So I spent a while campaigning for the Olympics, two years from 2010 to 2012. Our goal was to compete in the Olympics and, and it was the 2012 games that we were aiming for. In the sailing category that I was competing in the international circuit, there are about 100 teams that take part. And only 21, and 21 nations get to qualify for the games and we missed out by one, one place. And we had gone from being like 100th in the first event that we did to in the top 25. But we decided to pull the plug on it. And that's generally what I find the hardest, sort of to figure out when to close a chapter on something, when to say we've done it good enough, whether it was a failure or a success, and sort of move on to the next. Uh, it doesn't matter, we've taken a knock, let's just get up and keep going. Well, yeah, I mean, like everyone, I guess, when COVID hit, we were thinking, how many people do we need to let go? Um, how do we survive this? Am I going to have a job in a week's time? So all of those kind of thoughts. How am I, if I lose my job, how am I going to pay for my mortgage? If it's not in your control, which this is not, um, then stop, stop worrying about it or you can't worry about it. So try and sort of focus on what it is you can do. I think I would do it all again. But I think everything is a balance. So more of one thing is less of another. So I think it's about these daily routines, and in fact, routines and habit building I'm really into. And how do you build these habits that give you the energy you need to keep you sort of within that phase in life that you, the, the bigger objective of that phase? Can I choose a different century as well? Sure. <laughs> All right, so if I had to choose a different century, I think I'd love to have been a captain on a ship trading goods between like Europe and the Far East. But today, I don't know, I like what I'm doing, which is about, to me, trying to build a better tomorrow. Um, but if it was something completely different, maybe a neuroscientist, fine, let's imagine a better future, but how do we do that now? What am I going to do today or tomorrow to get on board with that vision? And for me, in Malta, in Malta now, sort of island city, is, okay, we're becoming a city and it's about mobility. How do we move around easy and freely? We have an issue with always wanting more and it's a big issue. And that it's really deeply ingrained with us because I think that we started wanting more when we moved from hunter-gatherers to farmers. So we've got, I don't know how many thousands of years of being evolving to working best when we are striving for more. And we're at the first point ever in our history where most likely more is not the answer.